morning everyone and welcome back to my channel today I have a treat a treat for you and a treat for me because I found very unexpectedly in town while I was visiting a stationery shop I've never visited before this box of Renaissance intense uh, watercolors and I was so happy because I could it's it's very unusual for me to be able to go into a store and just pick up um, some art materials especially like watercolors I would have to travel a lot to um, a town that's quite far from me like two or two and a half hours to find a shop and even there I wouldn't be able to find the watercolors that I wanted so just by chance discovering these was a treat I haven't opened them um, I thought I'd open them on camera for you to see and um, I I thought I'd talk a little bit about Renaissance paints. Now, um, for those who have watched my previous, one of my previous videos, like two, I think I did two videos about Zeki paints. Now, Zeki is a paint maker that is established in Florence. And some of my lovely viewers reached out to me and said that they have a sister company that is in Poland called Renaissance. I loved the Zeki paints and I really wanted to try the Renaissance ones as well. Um, and I, I found them. I found them very unexpectedly. So um, here we are. So Renaissance are handmade in Poland. Let's see what it says on here. And let's see if there's anything. There's a metal box. This box is a metal box with eight watercolors in 20, uh, 20 ml tubes. And it says here that they are based on acacia honey and Arabic gum solution. So they have honey in them. So that is brilliant because I love um, paints that have honey in them um, so let's open this little beauty here I have got my trusty cutter I'm not even going to attempt to um, <laughs> to say what kind of cutter it is because I always get it wrong and just peel this away I was like I mean I was so happy they had another box there which had half pans but this one I thought you know 20 ml tubes are a great value for money and they were really really good price I think they were let me think I think they were either 33 34 euros um, so it was a very good price let me see if I can just open this for you. It's a really nice box. I'll put this to the side. Sorry about the light, it's shifting a little bit. There's clouds, a few clouds, but it's, it's a really sunny day, so I hope that the sun will come back out soon. So it's a aluminium box. And here are the colours. Um, the colours are chromium yellow hue, scarlet red, purple magenta, phthalo blue, phthalo green, gold ochre, Mars Bordeaux and lamp black. And I will be swatching them for you today, which is so exciting. I, I'm always excited with new colours. I'm like a child in a sweet shop. Um, here we go. I have prepared, as always, a little template. Put these to the side. That is in here. 
I'll just open it up. I just need to rearrange this and see how I'm going to do this. I'll open this up and see how it goes first. So this is the Moon Dial palette as you remember. And here we go. I've done my little um, swatch template here. So I've put the names of the colours here that I'll be swatching. And here I did little cards so I thought if I have enough time, I'll do some mixing today. If I don't have, if I see this video going on for a long time, I might do the mixing in the next video. But uh, let's just swatch the colours out first and see. So, so I'm going to swatch first the yellow, which is chromium yellow, and it is PY74. It's a mono azo yellow. So I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. Looks very nice and fluid. Add some water. And I'm going to do what I usually do when I do swatches of new colours. I'm going to swatch in mass tone and then I'm going to swatch diluted. So let's... Ooh. It's very um, thick. Let's see. Add a little bit more of water. So chromium yellow. Wow, that's nice. And this is a hue. Nice. And diluted. That is a lovely yellow, and I have to say, it, it really does apply on the paper really well. That's so nice. It's very fluid, very easy to use. I like that. It's like a, a mid yellow. Okay. Now, next I have Scarlet Red, which is PR254. And that is Pirole. It's a Pierrot Red. So I'm first I'm going to swatch it in mass tone. Oh that's lovely. Maybe a little bit more colour. These are called intense the, the set and I have to kind of guess that that is because the mixes and the colours are going to produce the colours are intense and the mixes that they're going to produce are going to be intense like vibrant let's see this looks very much like a Zeki colour think that I bought that is lovely they handle so well okay so next I have here PR122 which is quinacridone magenta so I'm going to do a swatch, mass tone, It's 
getting warmer here today, much warmer. And I think by next week we are going to be in summer mode. Temperature is rising very quickly. It's nice. I have to say the colour itself doesn't do anything for me, but I can just see the potential in the mixing. <laughs> and they, I, I'm very impressed by how they handle. They're so fluid and very easy to use. And diluted. So I was, as I was saying, the temperature is rapidly changing now. I think it's going to be short sleeve weather next week. Open windows, lots of birdies tweeting. Can you hear the birdies? I can hear them clearly, but I have a couple of windows open. I don't know if you can. Okay, next I have moved the water here so I don't have to put my hand in front of the camera every time. Okay, so I have Thalo Blue. So Thalo Blue and this is PB15 Column 1, which is a, well, should be a reddish blue. Phthalo blue. My goodness, they handle so beautifully. I'm very impressed. Effortlessly on the paper. And some water. Okay, so I am going not I'm not gonna pass any judgment until they have dried so I can see them see how they dry and what they look like dry. Um okay, so next I have Thalo Green, which is PG7. Okay. Having a little bit of difficulty with this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, the Thalo Green has a lot of sizing in it. I mean, there's a lot of sizing coming on top. So let's see if, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can mix that. This is the problem with not opening them beforehand so I can actually mix them a little bit in the tube so that all this sizing isn't pouring out. Okay, this is the best I can do for Mastertone at the moment because of the sizing. Okay, this does not look good. Oh well, maybe I, I should have toothpicks here with me so that I can actually do the mixing on, on camera. Oh dear, and a, a wonky circle as well. Okay, and water, just some water. I 
It's a shame. It's a shame about the sizing. There's so much of it on the top of this tube. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't happen with any other of the tubes, any other tubes. Um, okay, so next I have this gold ochre. Now, I was really excited when I looked this up because I think it is a pigment that I haven't tried before. I think it is PY159 and I am going to attempt pronouncing it. I actually did try and pronounce it quite a few times before I started the video just to make sure that um, I could say it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to be able to say it now. Uh, it's called zirconium prisodymium silicate and let's see what it looks like okay so all we we have a sizing issue with this one as well oh my goodness sorry I keep saying sizing I mean binder issue Oh my, oh dear, okay. Let's um, wash that. I'll show you. Can you see? Can you see that? My goodness. Let's give it a good mix and see if that we can actually do anything with this. Holy moly. Okay, it looks better now. Let's see. Yeah, much, oh, much better. Um, that's beautiful, that's really nice. That is really, really nice. Yeah, it's a shame that the binding separated so much. It's starting to separate again. Oh well. Yeah. It's like a dull, a dull yellow. Okay, next we have Miles Bordeaux which is PR101 oh dear and see okay so this has a binder separating again so I'm going to give it a good mix So Mars Bordeaux, which is PR101, did I say that? Oh, That is pretty. I'm just a little bit upset about the um, the binder separating in all these three colours. Hmm. 
these colors came out perfect from the tube these all separated okay so the last color i have is lamp black and lamp black is pb k7 it is carbon black this this black came out perfect so i guess that is one problem you don't have with half pans that you get the separation of the binder but you might get it with tubes And those are the eight colors now I'm gonna to have to wait a little bit for these to dry so that I can basically talk about them a little bit okay I'll let them dry so I've given them about five minutes to dry and the ones that have excessive binder in them are not drying so it's the phthalo green the gold ochre and the Mars Bordeaux and that doesn't you know that doesn't surprise me um, the other colors let me get my brush the other colors like the chromium yellow is dried beautifully absolutely gorgeous gorgeously and the scarlet red as well it has the you know it's, it's dried really well the purple magenta too and the thalo blue and the lamp black these three i i don't know when they're going to dry because i mean the the lighter hues here are kind of dry these where they're mass tone haven't dried looking at them i think my my conclusion is that personally I'm kind of a little bit mm, I think I said upset before I don't I, I think that's too harsh of a word I'm a little bit disappointed about the amount of binder in these three um, because it, it does alter the way you're going to use your color and I mean you're gonna to have to wait longer the color may not apply as best as you could apply it it's not going to be easy to use um, the other colors are beautiful so in conclusion I think I would try Renaissance again just because of these here these three uh, these five colors um, but I would buy half pans. Now it would be interesting to ask you, ask you if you have used Renaissance tubes and if you had the same problem or was I just unlucky in buying this box? Has it happened to anyone else? Um, I mean, I know it can happen like in a tube, for instance, it, it can happen, but they had a lot of binder in these. The, the, the binder on the top was the separation was insane from the color it was crazy um so i'd really really be interested in hearing what your experiences have been with renaissance um i as you as you've seen i've put a lot of color on here and um, my intention apart from trying to get color out instead of binder um, was to do some swatches of some mixes uh, I think though I might have to wait I'll uh, because these 
I would prefer these to dry first. So I'm not going to do them today. I'm going to do mixing for next week. And I'm going to leave the mixing for next week. I'll leave you here. This is a kind of shortish video. Um, I do long videos, do short videos. It depends on the subject. I think the last video was quite long. Um, and I'll be back with you hopefully next week. Hopefully I will be able to um, do a video next week because I need to go and do some um, medical stuff. Not fun. Um, and just in preparation for next month's treatment, which is in the beginning of June. So I'm, I'm really, really hoping that I will, I'll, I'll do my best to do a video for next week. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope that you found it informative. Um, awkward little bit. If you like the video, please like the video. That really helps the channel. If you would like to see more videos from me, please um, subscribe. Uh, that helps the channel as well and hit the notification button to um so youtube can inform you when i have a new youtube uh, video up and also if you would like to comment that would be brilliant because i love your comments um thank you thank you thank you so much uh, we're almost at 3,000 subscribers and I'm very, very excited. I'm, I, it, it's beyond my wildest dreams that I would reach 3,000 subscribers, to be honest. And I'm so, so grateful to you all. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll see you next week, hopefully. Um, keep safe, keep creative, and above all, keep hopeful. Don't lose hope. Keep going. Sending you all my love. See you next week. Bye. Bye.